to do this successfully and constantly is going to take an honest and sincere personal sacrifice from you. It's not going to be easy. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk a little bit about one of the things it's going to take to get this going, to be successful at reselling, to be able to run this as your full-time income uh, across the board. Now, the one thing I can honestly tell you it's going to take is personal sacrifice. Without a doubt, you are going to have to sacrifice your time and efforts into this. There's no other way around it. It's not going to be super easy like everybody shows it off. Like you go find a whole bunch of stuff that's worth thousands and thousands of dollars every single day of your life. It just doesn't work that way in all honesty. What's going to help your business, your success in this, is investing your personal time, sacrificing time time into the effort of doing this. Now, a lot of people I hear from these days are folks who just started to get into this. They've worked a job, a normal job, 30, 40, 50 hours a week, and that's what everybody is used to. In all honesty, I put in far more time and effort into this, into running our own businesses than I ever did working for somebody else, even when I was doing 50, 60 hours. Now, I get a lot of pushback from people when I say those types of hours, but it's not like I'm working for somebody else. It's not like I'm just putting a ton of stuff in and getting nothing back out of it. Like if I was working for somebody else, if I had to rely on them to pay my bills, you got to move and go with the flow. Whatever your employer tells you to do, you are pretty much stuck into doing if you want to keep your job. But with what I'm doing now, I enjoy what I do. I can see an immediate return on my investment in my time. And it's not going to anybody else in this aspect. Now, of course, there's fees, there's COGS, cost of goods sold, you know, what you're going to have invested into the item, your time, uh, any other expenses and things like that, eBay fees and such forth. Now, a lot of people think that those fees, all the costs of doing this as a business are too much to run your business. If you've run a business in the real world, like a brick and mortar store, restaurant, anything like that at all, you understand how cheap it actually is when you compare those fees to what you have to pay to be in business. It's a totally different atmosphere going from brick and mortar, running big, huge businesses to going online and doing the same thing. You're instantly going to see the cost of doing business is much less online. Even if you are going through a platform and they are charging you a set amount pretty much no matter where you sell there is some sort of fee now some of the sites have waived temporarily their fees due to the pandemic but most sites have a set fee uh, that they charge you like if you're selling through say PayPal or something like that every site out there has a set price many people who haven't run the brick-and-mortar side of this don't realize what it costs to run a business like that any kind whatsoever most most restaurants, most retail have to make a set amount just to cover the expenses. And those amounts are huge. It could be forty, fifty thousand dollars in one month they have to cover just to be able to stay and keep the doors open. So it's a big, huge difference when you look at it from that standpoint. We are stepping into a world where, you know, you don't need the brick and mortar anymore. So Fees to one person may not seem expensive, but to someone else, they may. The bottom line is any other way you wanted to sell, if you wanted to sell to real people in a real world situation, brick and mortar, whatever, you would be flooded with fees and you wouldn't get off the ground, chances are. So I always look at it from that way. The bottom end, though, is you're going to have to invest the time. You're going to have to sacrifice your personal time to be into this. It's not just going to be a, a nine to five job or anything else like that. You can set your own hours. You can do it however you want. There's a lot of leeway in when you work and when you don't. But if you're not going to put that personal sacrifice into it, you're just not going to be as successful. Now, there are factors out there why even people who put in the effort, you know, that sacrifice, invest a ton of time, still may not be able to hit the mark or be as successful as they want to. Some of them comes down to where you live. You know, because if you live in a small town, there's not much around you without driving hours and hours one way. 
there's no real sourcing opportunities certain countries as well sometimes just the sheer fact of being in a different country can kill your your flow your business because some of the items that you may have may sell better outside of your country and then the shipping fees could be a deciding factor for me to send something legally over to say England anything that's sold I have to send it with import export forms if it's an item that was legally sold I can't just shove it in an envelope like a lot of people do that's technically against the law you have to declare any merchandise going out of this country as well as going into another specific country so fourteen dollars fifteen sixteen dollars is the rate depending on where an item's going just to send something that way so you've got to play all that into the aspect of it in this country postcards sell horrendously well vintage paper like that but it doesn't sell as well in almost every other country out there China may be one of those exemptions because I usually do sell most every Chinese postcard to someone from China so it's a decent thing that still sells but but the point of it is though in say England postcards are nowhere near as popular it may have one hundredth of the amount of people that buy postcards versus the US there's certain things that are much more popular say in Japan but they have a limited market they can't market certain items to other countries because there's maybe not enough interest same with US items like the postcards for example there's not a lot of people in say Russia buying postcards of US cities it just doesn't happen so there are some reasons why folks cannot be successful to the the extent you would need to be to full-time this there's nothing wrong with any of that may not be cut out for somebody either um, I run into a lot of people that are having problems with the time and trying to figure stuff out and they just haven't sunk down and dug in and and tried to actually do it themselves um, it's gonna take you time it's gonna take you some effort you're gonna mess up on stuff there's just no way around it I've messed up on a ton of things you know all I do is I learn from it and I make sure I don't make those mistakes again and then I keep going forward there's no other way around it the only difference between someone who's successful Joe Schmo or anybody or me or anybody out there is they've taken the time the effort they've done the personal sacrifice to figure it out whatever it takes to get it done to to keep this going as well because it's not just the aspect of finally making it to a number you got to keep that you got to sustain those numbers and not just that you have to keep increasing them to keep getting better and in earning more money there's no other way around it doing it all yourself it can be frustrating for many people who aren't used to all of these other aspects so if it takes you 40 hours just to source and list and ship you're going to need more time as well to do sales and do all kinds of other things so you've always got more time into it than than you think many people do not write down their hours they never you know calculate how much time they may be wasting doing stuff that's unrelated and they may think that they're just spending way too much time but when you break down your hours you write them down you will see exactly where they're going where all your time's going it's a time expense here you got to look into for every hour that I'm doing something related to reselling I want to recoup a said dollar amount 500 600 a thousand whatever it is for you whether it's 100 or 50 whatever it is there's a number that you should be earning while you're working while you're doing stuff for your business think of it like a brick and mortar a brick and mortar needs a set dollar amount to run their day they do projections throughout the day a restaurant runs hour by hour and checks how much revenue is coming in how many meals are going out in every given hour of every given week and they compare them year over last you know two years three and they they've got pretty much a spreadsheet showing if they're up if they're down and what they can do to fix those so part of your time as well is invested into you know calculating figuring uh, going over prices researching it and all that kind of thing too again if you're not going to invest the time and, and do that sacrifice in the beginning it's never going to be better for you if you're just you know throwing it up cutting it off when you're done and only getting a set amount of money in it just 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 not going to roll in for you and be given to you everybody who I see that's successful as I said 
has put in the effort. They've worked a long time. They've done everything they can. They don't let off the gas. Most everybody I know, too, who is successful has set themselves goals. I want to hit this number, whatever that number is, whether it's so many listings, so many dollar amounts coming in a day or a week or a month or wherever you want to be. Those are all good things to set up. Write them down. Post them everywhere you can think of. Get a wall chart or something and write those down and, and set yourself some numbers for things like that. It will honestly help you. It will keep that in the center of your mind all of the time so you're always thinking, hey, I want to hit that number. All this fits into the vision of what I want for me, for my company, my business, where my revenue needs to be, where all that sort of thing needs to be, what I'm looking for. And I, I track all this stuff. I invest all the extra time I can into figuring out a better and easier way, a more economical way. Uh, a better way to make more money doing this or selling this, uh, like changing titles, upping photo quality for something simple. Those are simple changes you can do. All these steps, though, are basically the evolution of most businesses. They get bigger. They expand out. They they don't let off the gas. Their, their vision, their goal, their drive is all tied into this. And everything about their daily life is tied to this. This is their life. This is their livelihood, just like it is for me. This pays my bills. This is all that pays my bills. I don't rely on a paycheck from anybody else. You know, so if I mess up something or I don't work, I don't get paid. And for most people, including myself, not getting paid is a huge issue. You know, no one wants to not have money coming in. So if you slack off or your sales start to die and you, you lose hope or you still don't have that vision, they're just going to keep going back down. You're not going to be able to raise them up without putting that extra effort in. So sacrifice the time in the beginning when you're first into this. That's when you need to do it the most. Because the more you do this, the easier it will get. The more information you'll know, the more ways of doing things you'll know. You'll be able to expand out as you wish. You'll be a much smarter seller. For us, it's far easier today than it ever was in the past, and I'm making more money at it because we've got everything streamlined. Um, we've got a big base of inventory up. We've got a big base of back stock to list. I've got some staff that can help us list it. Again, these are all steps we took to get to where we're at, but it's always taken my personal sacrifice, my investment of my time into doing this, far more than I did working for other folks. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.